I want to talk about the CEOs in a moment, Congressman, but first, your reaction to hearing what's coming out of this me meeting is Xi Jinping, given everything we know about him, a man that we can do business with and trust? No, absolutely not. And regardless of what comes out of this meeting, think of the price we've already paid just so Biden could sit down with Xi for this photo op. For two years now, the administration has completely taken its foot off the gas. They have not sanctioned any Chinese officials. They attempted to downplay, if not cover up, the spy balloon incident. There has been no meaningful investigation into the origins of COVID. Also, that we could spend, send cabinet secretaries to China to beg the CCP to have this meeting. That is the price we've already paid. That is the win that Xi Jinping has already pocketed. And now I worry that coming out of this meeting, there will be some commitment to working together on fentanyl. But like every other commitment that the, Xi, that the CCP has made in modern history, the Chinese Communist Party will violate that commitment. Time and again, we fall victim to this trap whereby we pay cash up front and the CCP's check is always in the mail. And that is the risk right now. And Congressman, do you agree with what um, the former trade rep uh, under Trump, Bob Lighthizer, probably knows more about trade than any living American, what he said on the angle the other night was basically what they're really playing for here is not about fentanyl or any of this. What Xi wants are those tariffs lifted, Trump's tariffs lifted in a second Biden term. And what would you wager on the proposition that that was discussed? and whether a wink and a nod that they understood that those tariffs are coming off if Biden wins. Well, I'm sure it was discussed. The 301 tariffs that Ambassador Lighthizer put in place, it's absolutely essential that we don't uh, get rid of those for some illusory promise of cooperation in the future. And more to the point, I think what the Biden administration wants over the next year is that there's nothing that could imperil their efforts to get reelected. That's why they put so much focus on turning the temperature down in the relationship. But because they misunderstand the nature of this regime, this Marxist-Leninist regime, they don't understand that the more you appease, the more you accommodate, the more aggressive Xi Jinping becomes, whether it's the unprecedented level of pressure they're placing on Taiwan, whether it is the economic coercion that they're embarking upon globally, whether it's the hacking of cabinet official emails at the very same moment those same cabinet officials are going to China. How much more evidence do we need to suggest that getting into this endless negotiation trap is not a good strategy for the United States? I mean, Congressman, I, I said this in the angle, but they lied about this virus. They're still lying. Millions of people died. And w w they're probably working on, you know, other, you know, vaccines at their bioweapons labs right now. And, and just for that alone, forget all of the other human rights abuses, trade abuses, everything they've done. But the COVID issue? I mean, we're just kind of like, oh, well, let's move on. Let's move on. Well, that's critical because the people that make the case for cooperation with the CCP usually cite public health and pandemic prevention as an area where our interests are aligned. They also, of course, cite climate change, which is why John Kerry is sitting right there in the room yeah. with President Biden and Xi Jinping. And now they're saying that when it comes to AI, artificial intelligence, we have shared interests with the Chinese Communist Party in regulating that technology going forward. I can guarantee you that Xi Jinping has <laughs> no other interests well. when it comes to AI than to dominate the technology in order to use it for evil and to further destroy American global leadership. That's who we're dealing with on the other side of the table. Congressman, you're a true leader on this issue.